so today we are trying out a brand new vacuum. I'm really excited about this. It is the NC Cordless Stick Vacuum as the S600 model. This has been raved about on Amazon as one of the best cordless vacuums that have the most sucking power. I am going to unbox and see does it really do what everyone is saying? Because um, I'm hoping that it does. It is lightweight, cordless. It has the uh, canister at the top, which is what I've been looking for um, to help clean my hardwood surfaces and my tile surfaces. So let's get started. So far we have the manual, which we will try to read and see what we need to do first. Um, this just tells you about the company. Head of the vacuum. Very pretty. The filter. Our battery pack. And then here's our charging cord. And that is all the items in the box. Let's get our instruction book to see how to put this thing together properly. I don't want to break anything trying to do it myself. I read the instructions and the screwing part is this is actually a wall mount that you would put on the wall to hang the entire product. Um, So that's where the wall mount will hang and you can have everything attached if you would like. And um, everything attaches right at the base of here. So if you wanna just go around the house with just this, you can. So you use this blue part to pull it down. This is to release it once it's on there, so. If you don't want the brush part back, you can press the button, pull it back, push the blue button, and pull it off. Uh, same thing for your long hose. Let me line this up properly. There we go. And you can have it with your head. So that is how you put the entire vacuum together. That seems very short. So we're gonna make this longer. Oh, nice. Okay, so there is a button on the back that you pull up and you can make the handle longer or shorter depending on your height level. I kind of like about there. You just click it to lock it in place. So that's nice. All right, so that is how you put all the attachments together. I'm going to go ahead and take it off. And drop your thing, okay. Now, before, this is my first time using it, so actually it does need to charge. So this is your battery pack, and there's actually two different ways to charge your battery. You can keep this battery pack in your motor. Wait, that's how you plug that in there. There you go. 
click it into place. And it is fully dead. Now the instructions said it's charged for 30%, but it doesn't look like it's charging at all. Oh. Okay then. Oh, I thought the top buttons was the on button. Apparently the trigger is the on button. So that is why. <clears throat> so you turn it on. And then you put the more suctioning power. You can hear it get louder as you go up. So that is how you turn that on. That's kind of interesting. Um, anyway, so about the battery, you can charge it with your plug here. The plug goes right into this. And then you put this in the wall. Um, you can remove the battery pack and just charge it by itself. Um, it says that it does need a total of five and a half hours from dead to charge. So this is my first time. I'm going to go ahead and charge it for the day and we'll go ahead and use it tonight. I can already feel that there's a good suction power. You do not have to worry about installing the filter because it's already, this is your secondary one. And if you need to get to your filter, you press the blue button on your canister. This is how you also empty the tank. So make sure that you're above your trash can or something before you press that button because it's just going to spill all out. You take this black part and you turn it, pull it down, and that's your filters. You have your filter inside, and then you have your purple filter that you can change out that they give you an extra one with right inside here. Why don't you just close on me? So, easily removable, just twist it in and put it back. They say that you need to wash it once a month with cold water and make sure that it's dry before it goes back in. All right, now put everything back together before we use it the first time. There are light indicators on the battery. It will tell you what charging level it will be at. And it indicates th three solid lights means full power, two solid blue lights means medium power, and one solid light is low power. If the one blinking blue light is blinking, then it means it's lower than 5% of your total power and definitely needs a recharge. Once it's charged, the three blue lights will blink successfully to let you know it is charging. And then once they are steady and solid, that means the charging is complete. Now we are all charged up and ready to start. So now I'm gonna put it together and test out how it moves. Now, let's see, I got some, actually I just wanna see if it can stand up on its own. No, it definitely cannot. So I'm gonna lean it on something. Um, I do have some dirt right there, and right, lots of dirt going on by the front door. And I just wanna see how it moves. Okay. 
So I don't like that I can't just leave it somewhere, that I gotta lean it on something. But that's about it. That's my only complaint, is I have to lean it on something. Um, but as far as the suctioning power, it did get rid of everything that was kind of there. There's still a little bit of dog hairs. It could be where I just stepped. Um, but everything there is gone. Then I went over the carpet and it was doing really well. And then I realized I pressed the button and to turn it off and that's when it went higher suctioning power and it started sucking even more on the carpet. So um, you can see that there is quite a bit that it picked up just in that little section and part of the carpet. Next thing to test out is how long the battery can last. And um, I think I'll just have to report on that one because it could last days, it could last hours, it could just last maybe a whole room flow and maybe I'll do that and see if it's still going and then I'll probably have it sit around for a few days and I won't be doing anything with it. So, um, so far I like it. I just don't like that I have to lean it on something. Um, so you can't just kind of stick it up and stop what you're doing and maybe pick up something. You're going to kind of have to hold it, but at least it's only like, I don't know, five, 10 pounds. It's really, it's really light. So it's nice. Look at this rotating action. Watch this. Pretty neat. I, one of the things that I'm excited about having a cordless vacuum is the staircase. Um, I just ran it over that carpet a little bit over there and it didn't seem like it gave the best suction power. Um, but I also need to see if there's any kind of floor lowering options on here, if that might help. But let's test out the stairs. So I was trying to see if I could find a dirty stair. <laughs> I did just have to clean the stairs because my dog had a major accident over Christmas. We gave her one too many Christmas treats. Um, okay, this stair looks like it's got some stuff. So let's check it out. This is where I might want to lower the, the handle. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, I've lowered the handle to a little bit more of um, an accessible, easy maneuvering for the staircase. Um, because, because the head is so flimsy, it is kind of still difficult to vacuum the stairs with this. So I might want to take off these attachments and oh just a second i removed the hose altogether this gives me way more control over the head still flimsy but at least i can have the head on the stairs That is nice. I like that. And so that's how that looks. Um, very interesting. So dynamic. Um, very, I really like it. And so far I've done this room or the stairs. I think I left some plastic piece on here. I did most, so I've done a couple of these stairs here. I did this room and the dining room and kind of through the hallway in the kitchen and then that room a little bit. So, and it's still going strong. It's not dead. So the battery does work so far for a long period of time to continue most of my rooms, but I think I can get it on one battery cycle. Um, I'm not sure how many times I can turn it off and start it just yet, but we'll find out. It suctioned off a good amount of hair and particles from my floors and the rollers are still pretty clean. 
The only downside I did notice, I don't know what happened though. Okay, so that's where you can clean, unlock and lock your rollers to clean them. Um, I thought there was wheels. Well, there are little tiny wheels right here because there was a clump of hair kind of sticking. I think that might be where it was sticking was the wheels. And that's my review on the NC cordless vacuum. I am just absolutely in love with this vacuum. It has fulfilled everything that I wanted in a cordless vacuum and the battery life cycle is very long um, and I um, don't think it takes very long to charge it. So, so far I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10 and I would definitely recommend everyone to use this vacuum. And remember to like, subscribe, and be kind to everybody.